Amy, for this Mother's Day, we got a very special, special video. About me? No, it's for a very special mother. Oh, it's probably your mom. It's not my mom. What? It's the best mother ever. And it's oh my God. Moses. <laughs> now it's from Moses. <laughs> he is a pretty good mom though. And we're gonna show you why. Louis came to us at eight weeks old and Mo showed great patience right from the start. Well, Mo was a rescue. We had him since he was one and he's pretty damaged. So we thought another dog would be great for him and it was the best thing that we did. And we got a lab because they're so good natured, we thought it would be a great fit. And it, as you can see, was right from the beginning. <laughs> His little sharp puppy teeth. Oh my goodness. Mo never cared. And still doesn't. Nope. This happens multiple times a day with them playing. And Mo shows incredible patience. He's got the strongest bite force of any breed. Yeah, it's crazy. So he is a livestock guardian dog. Dog. He's an Anatolian Shepherd. And what they do is they bark. Yeah, they're used on farms to guard sheep and other livestock. And they have something, a uh, behavior called alloparenting, where it's in them to care and protect other animals. And Mo definitely has that, except for bunnies in the yard. He's not too crazy about bunnies or squirrels. No, bunnies are delicious to him, unfortunately. But they just love each other. Mo just adores Louie. They hang out in the sunroom all day. It's like their apartment. And here you'll see how Mo holds Louie in his arms. Oh my God. <laughs> and Louie's like a mother, and he'll like pretend to like nurse from him, which is like the weirdest thing. And, and Moses doesn't even care. He's just like, yes, my child. I, I think he's just biting him here. I don't know what he's doing, but he also like, Louis like broke a nail, pretty significant nail, and he wouldn't let us touch it, but. His mother, he lets Yeah, he let Mo it. lick it for like an hour. Like it was unbelievable. So not, not us, but Mo can take care of this. And this is the weirdest thing. So Louis, sucks on Mo's ears. I know. We asked the vet about it because he's been doing it since he was a puppy. And the vet was like, it's not harmful. It's gross, but it's not harmful. And as long as Moses doesn't mind. And obviously you can see Moses doesn't mind. No. This happens every day. Lou knows he's not supposed to do it. This is a security He waits camera. till we're gone. <laughs> yeah. We're out of the house or we're upstairs where we can't see him. Like he just, he knows it and he does it. And then he almost feels guilty about it. He'll come up and look at us, like, with his ears cupped. Like, oh, it's gross. You go to pet Mo, and you're like, oh, oh, someone got your ears. So disgusting. But it's a bonding thing. And again, Mo's such a good mom. He lets him do it. That's his mama. <laughs> yeah. Too, yeah. And even this, like, Mo being so big is not food aggressive, lets Louie do everything. <laughs> this has happened every single birthday. Neither dog together. has ever growled at the other dog. No, never. Crazy. Not years. over food or anything. And so, yeah, we have four birthdays of this. They've never done the humping thing. No. Never, never growled at each other. They share space together. Oh, I did this little test today. I put some food down and I wanted to see if they would let each other have their yeah. food. How do you think this is going to go? <laughs> The uh, mother's I a, always giving. I have a prediction. Lou's the little bull. Mo is the big bull. So, yes, Louie. Yes, Louie. <laughs> Moses, uh, nothing. Uh, there's drool. Yeah, Moses got a little treat after this, though. But, no, he just let Louie eat it. I'm fine with it. No growling. My baby is hungry. I'm going to let my baby eat. So, eat baby. <laughs> That's what he does. And then they'll head back into their room and start playing again. Constant playing together. Yeah, toys, chasing, and so gentle and respectful. Louis is as respectful to Mo, too. Absolutely. You know, doesn't give him a hard time, knows when it's enough. So they've got a pretty amazing relationship. And again, getting Louis the second dog was the best thing that we ever did. And this is why I nominate Mo as Mother of the Year. You know what? I have to nominate Mo, too. Mo, happy Mother's Day. Congratulations, Moses. 